When I saw Matteo Nanini sign for HWA Race Lab in Formula 2 and Formula 3, what means he will drive 45 races in 2021, I was pretty happy for him. I was like, yeah, good talent, you know. He has well, quite some backing as his dad was an F1 driver. But I'm happy for him. He, yeah, he has some talent. I don't think he has potential for Formula 1, but he has at least won the Formula 4 UAE. When I saw his teammate though, I was not happy. Alessio fucking Deleda. Why am I like this, you think? Well, I'll explain you in this video. Alessio Deleda is a 26 year old Italian driver who, where I, I don't know where he's got his money from, but he's clearly got a lot of money. Uh, I don't think he's got it from this Instagram modeling. Alessio started his racing career on two wheels and not on four. But he wasn't as successful as John Surtees, who was a world champion on both two and four wheels. Alessio uh, wasn't a good driver on two wheels, um, as in 2017 he DNF'd in his first two races in the weekend. In his second weekend he became last and in his third weekend he became uh, you know, second to last. Um, and after that he didn't qualify and stopped motor racing um, on two wheels. I mean. On four wheels, he started his racing career at the Formula 4 Italian Championship, uh, where he drove uh, along the likes of Enzo Fittipaldi, Oli Caldwell and Frederick Vest. Alessio didn't finish in the whole season higher than 17th, and he ended P39 in the championship, uh, the second lowest of the drivers uh, who drove the entire season with only ahead of Fabio Venditti, um, and yeah, he stopped, <laughs> stopped racing after eight races in the following season, an advice what the latter probably should have followed. In the winter of 2019 to 2020, Alessio drove, well, according to his Wikipedia, he drove a Euro Formula Open Winter Championship, but I couldn't find anything about that series anywhere online, not on the side of Euro Formula Open, nowhere. Um, but he got six points due to his Wikipedia, so, well, GG. And at the start of February 2019, it was announced he Alessio would drive for Campos in Formula 3. Some guys on Reddit already knew it would be bad and well they just posted about it but no one really picked it up. Those Reddit guys just were telling the truth as Alessio didn't finish higher than P16 in the whole year. At the end finishing in P29 in the championship. The lowest of the, well, the drivers who did the entire season. He also finished last of the runners at the Macau Grand Prix, so at this point it was quite clear he just didn't have a lot of talent. He also drove in the Formula Renault Euro Cup, finishing P25 in the standings. He actually only drove, uh, well he didn't drive the entire season, but at the last race of the season he also drove against Matteo Nanini, who will be his teammate in Formula 2 obviously. Um, and Matteo outqualified um, <laughs> Alessio by 2.837 seconds and you have to know this was uh, Matteo's rookie season in just open wheeler well formula cars uh, ever and yeah so it was quite clear he was better than Alessio. Then 2020 came around the corner and Alessio would drive in Formula 3 Asia. He would finish with 21 points with a really weird point system uh, where at 11th place in some races you get one point but at some races you don't get any points. I don't understand the whole point system of uh, that three Asian championship but he got 21 points at the end finishing only one place behind um, Jake Hughes, fellow Formula 3 driver but Jake only did two of the five races and and Alessio did five of the five races. In 2020, he would drive again in Formula 3 with Campos. Alessio would be the absolute worst driver in the whole season, crashing, uh, just, he didn't have any good results, finishing P34 in the championship, behind Leo Pulcini, who only drove one weekend in the entire series. Alessio's highest finish was P20 in the whole season, and that's very bad. Uh, if you know the it's a spec series and there are 30 cars in the field. Also his teammate Alex Peroni finished in P10 in the championship and uh, Matteo Nanini 
finished 16 places ahead of Alessio. As I'm talking about a very bad racing driver, you'll probably see similarities to Lord Mahavir. But I think, honestly, that Lord Mahavir is better than an Alessio Deleda. For example, Mahavir finished in P12 in the F4 Italian Championship, uh, well, in the opening season of that uh, series in 2014. Mahavir actually got 45 points in that season. To be fair though, Mahavir didn't finish higher than P20 in Formula 3. And, well, I think I've seen that somewhere before. I actually think the latter will be a Ragunathan or Samaya kind of driver in Formula 2. The last series he has competed in was the Lamborghini Super Trofeo Europe. He finished 10th and 8th in the two races he competed in uh, in the field of 10 drivers. Another thing what's very bad about Alessio is his Instagram stories. He drove 330 km an hour while filming with one hand. He drove uh, 150 while driving in an Audi, also with one hand, was passing a traffic jam at like 150 kilometers per hour. So uh, in my opinion, uh, the FIA should like at least give him some kind of ban and yeah, well, take his uh, racing license. Um, but the only thing what happened was literally everyone hating him and at the end there came this kind of sorry tweet so why is he in formula 2 well it's just money 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 personally i'm not really against paid drivers as long as they have some talent i mean uh, latifi has some talent stroll has some talent masbin has some talent deleda doesn't have any talent as well as for example samaya also doesn't have any talent but also was in formula 2 in 2020 alessio is taken away chances for talents to take the seats in formula 2 the most important feeder series to formula 1 and i think that's the reason why there should be some kind of super license points for formula 2 so what do you think about alessio de Leda? personally i'm really uh, interested to see what will happen with him and how many seconds he will on average be off p21 in the qualifying sessions my guess is 2.5 seconds on average over the whole season. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd really appreciate it if you can like, subscribe, comment and share this video with some friends. Also, I would love it if you can check out some other videos of mine, what will be on the screen now. So, I hope to see you back on my channel in the future. For now, bye bye.